Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another here journal for you. Romans chapter 7. Romans is a Pauline epistle, a letter from Paul. Here to see, focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. There are many great instructions in Romans. And we're reading through Romans a chapter at a time and doing a here journal on that chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their relationship with the Lord. It's wonderful. It really is. Give it a try. Check out replicate.org to learn about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Romans chapter 7 in the New Living Translation as told from the YouVersion Bible app. And then I'll share my Chapter 7. No longer bound to the law. Now, dear brothers and sisters, you who are familiar with the law, don't you know that the law applies only while a person is living? For example, when a woman marries, the law binds her to her husband as long as he is alive. But if he dies, the laws of marriage no longer apply to her. So while her husband is alive, she would be committing adultery if she married another man. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law and does not commit adultery when she remarries. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the point. You died to the power of the law when you died with Christ, and now you are united with the one who was raised from the dead. As a result, we can produce a harvest of good deeds for God. When we were controlled by our old nature, sinful desires were at work within us, and the law aroused these evil desires that produced a harvest of sinful deeds, resulting in death. But now we have been released from the law, for we died to it and are no longer captive to its power. Now we can serve God, not in the old way of obeying the letter of the law, but in the new way of living in the Spirit. God's law reveals our sin. Well then, am I suggesting that the law of God is sinful? Of course not. In fact, it was the law that showed me my sin. I would never have known that coveting is wrong if the law had not said, You must not covet. But sin used this command to arouse all kinds of covetous desires within me. If there were no law, sin would not have that power. At one time I lived without understanding the law. But when I learned the command not to covet, for instance, the power of sin came to life and I died. So I discovered that the law's commands, which were supposed to bring life, brought spiritual death instead. Sin took advantage of those commands and deceived me. It used the commands to kill me. But still, the law itself is holy, and its commands are holy and right and good. But how can that be? Did the law, which is good, cause my death? Of course not. Sin used what was good to bring about my condemnation to death. So we can see how terrible sin really is. It uses God's good commands for its own evil purposes. Struggling with sin. So the trouble is not with the law, for it is spiritual and good. The trouble is with me, for I am all too human, a slave to sin. I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. But if I know that what I am doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good. So I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. And I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it anyway. But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. I have discovered this principle of life, that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, but there is another power within me that is at war with my mind. This power makes me a slave to the sin that is still within me. Oh, what a miserable person I am! Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see how it is 
In my mind, I really want to obey God's law, but because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. All right, that was Romans chapter 7 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. And now for my Hear Journal. First, the highlight, Romans chapter 7, verses 4 to 6. No longer bound to the law. Verse 4, so, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the point. You died to the power of the law when you died with Christ. And now you are united with the one who was raised from the dead. As a result, we can produce a harvest of good deeds for God. When we are controlled by our old nature, sinful desires were at work within us, and the law aroused these evil desires that produced a harvest of sinful deeds, resulting in death. But now we have been released from the law, for we died to it and are no longer captive to its power. Now we can serve God not in the old way of obeying the letter of the law, but in the new way of living in the Spirit. Okay, now what's my explanation? Paul explains the sinner's old nature died with him when he came to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The believer's new nature is released from the law by living a spirit-controlled life to serve God with a faithful and obedient life. So, what's the application? We must come to Jesus completely, giving up our old sinful ways by living faithfully and obediently to the leading of the Holy Spirit. It's that simple. And my response, Lord, I reaffirm my life in you. I seek to abide in you faithfully and obediently. Holy Spirit, always. Amen. Now, how about you? Are you going to try some here journaling? Read a little scripture? Do an highlight? explanation, application, and response. Comment below. Share your experiences. If you don't know Jesus as Savior, read John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything because He really does love you and He wants to talk with you. Keep seeking Him and I'll see you in the next video.